All right, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Structure Free Learning. And in this video, we're gonna do a quick shear analysis example problem from Reinforced Concrete. As simple as it possibly get. I am given four KSI concrete, grade 60 steel, normal weight concrete, and I have shear stirrups here with a number three bar at a 10 inch spacing. Okay, so that means coming out of the page, the shear stirrups are at 10 inch intervals. And I want to calculate the design shear strength of this section, which is phi v n. All that we have to remember is that the design shear strength, phi v n, is phi times the contribution of the concrete plus the contribution of the steel. And we'll be able to calculate the design shear strength here. So the first thing, if we attack the concrete using ACI code equation 22.5.5.1, that is VC is equal to 2 lambda square root FC prime BWD. And this is primarily associated with like flexure shear cracking. And in any case, we have normal weight concrete. So this is 2, lambda is 1 for normal weight concrete. It's the square root of 4 KSI concrete. We want to make sure our units are going to be in 4,000 here, PSI. And then this BWD is really the area of the concrete that's resisting the shear. And so for us, BW, like here in this T-beam shape, is the width of the web. So that in this region right here, from here, this is this BW, and this red area is the area that is resisting the shear, that VC. And so this BW would be 12 inches times a depth of 25 inches. 37,947 pounds, and this is equal to 37. Nine. We'll just, let's just go with 38 kips. Then I look at my contribution of the steel. So two, my shear reinforcement is there to keep the shear cracks closed. And this VS is equal to, oh, there it is, good. Uh, this is ACI 22.5.10.5.3. <laughs> should have been a lawyer. Okay. Here and then A V F Y T D over S. And F Y T just stands for the yield strength of the ties or the shear reinforcement. And in this case, we're going to assume we have grade 60 reinforcement for the shear stirrups. So this A V is the shear, is the area of shear reinforcement. And if I if I go back here, the crack, the crack is actually a diagonal crack going into the page and it would be a plane. The crack is not a single line, but it is actually a plane. And this crack would intersect two of the stirrup, and so the area in shear would be two of the number three bar. So an area of a number three bar is 0.11 inches squared, and so the area of shear reinforcement is two times 0.11 inches squared, times 60 KSI, times D, which is 25 inches, over S, which is the spacing of 10 inches. And this, you know, technically all these equations should use pounds and inch squared, but since there's no like square root of FC prime and everything, and I, and I can keep my unit straight in my head, that's why I use a 60 KSI. But here, this is 33 kips, like this. And then now I combine everything into my design shear strength, and here, phi vn is phi times vc plus vs and phi is always 0.75 for shear in the aci code and here vc would be 38 kips plus 33 kips times 0.75 which gives me 53.25 kips so at this location my design shear strength is 53.25 kips and that's it. 